Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Light LX 1925. It's a great small little bunk unit, a lot of great features in here. They have a Murphy bed, which really gives you a lot of different seating space. But let's start off right over here. You'll see that you have a campside dinette, and I really enjoy when manufacturers do this. Because when I'm sitting here eating my, you know, my morning breakfast or drinking my morning cup of coffee, this is the view I want right here. I want to look out to my campsite, not stare out at my neighbors. Plus, if you need some extra sleeping space, this also drops down into a small bed. You simply remove the legs right here from the flanges in the floor as well as in the table. The table itself drops down. You take the cushions, put them on top, and that will give you additional sleeping space. If we take a look across the top here, a couple of great things. You have your uh, control panel right on the side, a little bit higher, so if you have small kids, they're not you know, opening and closing your awning or messing with your water heater, things like that. Right over here is your multimedia center. This is cool because this is a DVD player, folks. You'll see you have a spot right here for your TV where they put a backer so you know exactly where to mount it, throw a DVD in, and you can watch a movie on a rainy day. You have storage going all the way across here, which is nice. You can take a look at that. And then underneath, you have a couple LED lights as well as electrical outlet over there to this side. So if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a tablet or laptop or anything like that, you have a spot in which you can do so. As we move back just a tiny bit here, we get into the uh, fridge freezer, the Norcold fridge freezer unit. It's six cubic foot, so plenty of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right down underneath, take a look at this. You have a big drawer down here. You know, decent size, it's a good size drawer there they were able to stick in there for you. So uh, I like the fact that they did that because most manufacturers just would have put a panel there and left it blank, but they actually utilize the space. As we take a step into the bathroom, foot flush lever toilet right here. You know, what they did is they actually cut away the countertop, which gives you more room. You know, I'm a fairly wide guy up top, and uh, I like the fact that I can sit in here fairly comfortably. I have plenty of leg room here as well. Right next to me is the sink top, of course, and you have an electrical outlet, a little bit of storage there underneath, and then you have a mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. You'll also see over to this side, you have a tub shower unit which I like having a tub in a bunk model in case you have smaller kids that, you know, they're used to having a bath, they, you haven't started, uh, you know, having them take a shower yet. This way you don't have to break routine, you're still able to give them a bath. Then right in the back corner here are your two bunks. Teddy bear bunk series, so they're nice and soft. You'll see you have a window on both the top and bottom, as well as an LED light on both the top, and you'll see the one in the bottom right over there. 300 pound weight capacity on here too, folks. So, you know, you don't have to worry about that. If you have an adult sleep on these, that's not going to be an issue. Right up top, you can see you have a 13.5K BTU AC. Folks, that'll do an awesome job of keeping this shorter travel trailer nice and cool, even when it's really hot out. Right over here, you have some versatile storage. You can use this as pantry if you want. You can put kids' clothes in here. Uh, just, you know, give you a couple different options there. But I like the fact that they were able to squeeze this in. As we move into the kitchen, you'll see you have a two-burner cooktop and your double bowl sink there. Larger bowl on the left, smaller one on the right with a high-rise faucet. Perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. Window right behind there to let in natural light during the day. LED light here up top, and again, you have an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in in the kitchen. So take a look right up top here, some more storage. Over to the side, microwave, hood right underneath that for light and fan. If we take a look underneath the countertop, you see you have two large full extension ball bearing drawers. And folks, this is almost a necessity to have in any kitchen. This way, you have a spot for your silverware as well as some of your larger utensils like your spatula, serving spoons, things like that. Direct vent furnace right there, and again, that will do more than enough to keep this camper uh, nice and warm in the colder seasons. And then right below that, you see you have storage here as well. I'd probably stick you know, pots and pans down there, but again, whatever you want to put in there, you can. Uh, I myself, I love Murphy beds. I'm a big fan. The only time you ever see them is in a smaller RV, and the reason is it gives you additional seating space in where you normally couldn't get it. Sure, you could have a bed here, but it'd be a lot more cramped in this space, and it, you don't have a sofa to sit on. So this way you can sit, you can have more people in here, 
and again it takes a minute or two to set up and tear down but it is fairly quick so we'll start off right here you see you have a jackknife sofa uh, the cool thing I like about this jackknife, you'll see it has armrests on either side, which is kind of nice. Gives you a spot to put your arms. I hate just kind of having dead space. And even in the center, you have another drop-down armrest right there. You'll also see there's a couple of cup holders in there. Now, some people say, well, if you have a Murphy bed, you lose storage space, and that's not true either. You can see right under here underneath the jackknife sofa, you have all that extra storage space under there. So just as much as you would get in your standard queen. To make this into a bed, what you'll do, you'll see these armrests actually come out. So this is just Velcro, you, vel you un-Velcro this, take the cushion, you can just set that to the side. You'll do that on both sides here. You will then drop the jackknife sofa down, just like so. You'll have two locks here. You'll undo that on both sides. I'll do the same to this side here. Then you simply take this like so, and it just drops right down. You'll see then you have your mattress right here. We can pull this guy out, kind of form it down just like that. And it's nice and tight. It's a tight fit, so that way you don't feel these seams. And if you take a look, I'll, I'll lay down on here. Now bear in mind, again, like I said, I'm six foot. But if you notice the Murphy bed, another complaint I get is, oh, well, you'll feel all the cracks. But all of your pressure points are either up top here or right where your butt is, and you'll see that that is a full section. You don't have a crack there. So again, it, it's the same type of sleep you'll get in you know, pretty much any other uh, RV out there, whether it's a standard bed or a Murphy bed like this. The only difference is you can't put a custom mattress in it. Then you'll also see right up top there, you have a couple LED lights, so you have some reading light at night. And on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe with hanging space, so you have a spot to store your clothes. You also have the shelf up top here and electrical outlets on the side in case you need to plug in any electronics or if you sleep with a CPAP machine. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the Coleman 1925BH. Right up front here, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with your cover. Nice and easy to get in there. Just undo the thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are in. Right behind that, you see rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If we take a look at the side, you'll see this one is a laminated product. You have the fiberglass skin here with the aluminum structure. Right up here, this is great, you have solar prep. If you're going boondocking, you don't have shore power, you can buy portable panels, plug them in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery as everything's already wired up for you. If we take a look at them pass through, you'll see it's nice and clean and open. You'll also notice there's an LED light strip going the entire length of the pass through. I like that because it lights up the whole thing, so no matter what you're getting at, it will be illuminated at night for you. Big power awning on here as well. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there. You just kind of uh, pinch these in. You can move either arm to whatever, or, you know, kind of wherever you want it. So you can lift the awning up a little bit more if you want, or keep it nice and low like it is right now to uh, help give you some extra shade in those hot, sunny days. Right underneath the awning, you will see a LED light strip there as well. Just touch a button, or flip it rather, to turn those lights on. That way you don't have to hang up your lights, unless you want to, you know, if you have some collectible lights you love hanging every year, by all means you can do it. But I like having that right there. It's just super simple and easy to use. And then of course it illuminates your campsite at night. Getting into the RV is nice and simple. You have two foldable steps right there and a grab handle right here to aid you in and out. And then underneath the LED light strip, you'll also see two outside speakers there. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, however that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit here, you know, underneath your awning in your chairs and control your multimedia center from your smartphone, you can do that. Right over here is an electrical outlet. You need to plug anything in, folks. That's going to be the place to do it right there. As we come around to the back side, a couple of great features back here as well. You see you have your square tubular bumper on there with the end caps. You can pop these end caps off, and then you can store your sewer hose in there. That way it's not rolling around with everything up front in your pass-through. Spare tire is mounted on the bumper. You notice it has a cover to help keep it in good shape as well. Hopefully you never have to use the spare, folks, but in the event that you do, it is mounted on your bumper, and so it's probably one of the easiest access points for a spare tire. 
If you take a look right up top center there, you'll see this one's also prepped for a backup camera. If you want a backup camera, having the prep there makes it a lot easier to install. It's essentially a plug and play installation, which means you will save a lot of money on the installation. To take a look at the off door side, you'll see you have a 30 amp power cord. Just rolls right up inside the RV there, nice and easy. Cable inlet here. If you have city water, that's where you will uh, put that at. And then right underneath is the termination with both your black and gray valves. If you don't have city water and you have to fill your fresh water tank, you'll do that right here and this is gravity fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Coleman Light LX 1925 BH. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.